This is my 1986 Corolla and so far it kind of sucks. I've been struggling learning how to drift and it turns out the AE86 might not be as good as I thought it was. The car feels really unstable and unpredictable right now. It also has a ton of body roll which makes it really hard to control. And the tires rub like crazy which makes trying to learn even more frustrating. So you probably see where I'm going with this. I am going to completely overhaul the suspension on this car, but I promise it is not going to be that easy. So the thing about these old Toyotas is that updating the suspension isn't just a bolt-on affair. There's actually quite a bit of fabricating involved. And to be honest, the last part of this is kind of like witchcraft to me. I really don't understand it. People say that it works, so I'm going to try it out, but we'll get to that later in the video. With all of the brake components removed, I think we can just undo the two bolts at the bottom and the three bolts at the top and we can remove this whole strut assembly now. Okay, now that this is out of the car, you can see just how not good this suspension is and it's also super greasy and grimy so before we do any fabricating I'm going to completely strip this down and clean this up because we actually have to cut this in half and then re-weld it to make the new coilovers work. Well, that was super easy. And I just finished hosing this thing out with brake clean to try to get some more oil out of it. And before I start throwing sparks everywhere welding this thing up, I'm gonna hose it out with water so I don't create a little pipe bomb. Okay, so I've got this cleaned up to a point where I'm happy with it, and now it's time to mark where I'm gonna make my cut here. I'm gonna take about 40 millimeters out of this strut casing here. So I'm gonna try to land that right where the old spring perch used to be so I can cut out that welded section. Um, doesn't matter exactly where this is. This line doesn't matter so much, it just matters where I cut the difference out. It's pretty well square. Yeah. Not perfect, but basically as close as I'm gonna be able to get with hand tools. You can see there's a little bit of light at the bottom, but that's like not even a sixteenth of an inch. And it's even better this way. Okay, this is cut, clamped, and cleaned as best as I can do it. Hopefully everything's lined up. I'm gonna tack it and then test fit to make sure that this thing is perfectly square. And if it is, then we'll finish welding it up. If you guys have watched this far, you may as well hit that like and subscribe button. And now let's see if this fits. This is the most important. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Perfect, okay. We're gonna weld this thing up. I'm excited to show you guys, I actually did this exact thing on the Datsun next to me. And I did that probably like 10 years ago with an old flux core welder and my fab skills were not that good. So I'm really excited to show you guys a before and after of how this looks. This is kind of embarrassing and I almost don't want to show you guys, but I said I would, so here we go. Here's the old welds on the Z. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I know. Versus today's welds on the Corolla, the same part, same products. I welded up quite a lot nicer. Honestly, kind of embarrassing looking back on those old welds. They look awful, but it's nice to see that my welding skill actually has progressed. It's a really nice kind of before and after comparison. Okay, the strut is in, and instead of using these old crusty upper mounts to mount the nice new springs, we've got these nice camber caster plates that we're gonna put on the top. To mount those, we've got a bunch of different hardware and no instructions, so we're gonna have to figure out what goes together where. Okay, this is really confusing and it doesn't come with good instructions. And if I'm having this question, I'm sure other people are gonna have it as well. So I'm gonna explain this the best way that I can figure it out. There's the two washers here that they say to use, but if you mount the camber plate straight onto here, those washers are gonna contact the aluminum. I'm guessing it is not the right way to mount this. There's a bunch of these different spacer insert things. I'm guessing this guy goes in here first because that can slide over this part. All the other ones can only slide over the threads. So we're gonna use the part that slides over here. But before we do that, they include this one smaller washer. So we're gonna put that on there first. And then this small sleeve, slide this on. It rests on the washer and it's probably hard to tell but that washer protrudes just enough that these washers will ride on that and not on the aluminum. All right, this side is all done and buttoned up, and now I'm gonna quickly knock out this side. You guys probably don't wanna watch me do the same thing twice, so I'm gonna do this part off camera, and once this is done, we can reassemble the front of the car. So the part of this that kind of feels like witchcraft is these guys right here. These are called roll center adjusters, and all this is is just a spacer for your suspension. Because it goes at the bottom here, it doesn't change your ride height at all. What it does do is change the angle of your control arms, and I guess that makes a huge difference in the way the car handles. It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm sure there's some physics behind it. People say that it works, so we're gonna try it out. I'm also gonna set these camber plates up to let me run a little bit of caster, which should really improve the way the car feels on track. You know, we're gonna have stiffer suspension. We're gonna have more negative camber, some caster. It's gonna be a whole new car. So I actually went with a divorced setup in the rear of the car, so it should make it a lot faster to do the back end because there's no fabricating involved. Okay. Oh wow, that's, that's really stiff. That's really stiff. That's close to rubbing there still. Here's a question for you guys. Here's the camber on this side. You can see it's pretty significant. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there's the back wheel. So pretty significant. You can see the top of the tires tucked in quite a bit and the camber plates are maxed out right now. The bottom is all the same. When you go to this side, it's got a little bit of camber. I guess it's still got a fair bit, but when you look at the top of the tire, that top is almost flush with the, with the fender. Let me go back over here. So my thoughts are there's two options. Either something is bent in this car and I can't for the life of me, I've looked everywhere. I can't find anything bent. Strut towers all look good, all the camber settings are identical, everything looks good, the control arms are all fine, the mounting points are all good. Nothing looks bent. It would explain why that wheel looks funny if something is bent, but I don't think that's the case. The other option is I had these fenders redone by a body guy. I've since messed them up pretty good. Do you think there's any chance that he just put less of a flare on this one? Like, you look at that. It doesn't look like it's sticking out too far. The fender doesn't look like it's sticking out too far. This side, that looks like a, it's kind of in the shade. But like, that's a pretty big, I can put four fingers across that one. I guess I can kind of do that here too. So if any of you eight, six experts are watching this, let me know what you think is going on here. I don't know why this wheel is poking out so bad. So if you guys are gonna watch me do this, I need you to promise me something. And that is not to look at the exhaust. I know it's bad, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know it's bad, it was my first try. I'm gonna build a better one and we'll make a video on that later, okay? Just don't look at it for now. <laughs> That's easy. This thing is beat up, but we'll use it. Okay, that was super easy. We just gotta do the shock now. Okay, we got these set to four, which is about 
the midway point, same as the front. Let's get these put in. That looks so good. <laughs> God, that looks so good. Okay, the car looks unreal. So I think the only thing left to do, take it for a test drive. Oh yeah, this thing is definitely, definitely way stiffer. It's weird though, it, it feels stiffer, but it somehow feels kind of smoother too. I guess that's just what you get with upgraded struts. Oh yeah, it feels good around the corners. Oh, <laughs> this is a, this is a good upgrade, boys. feels so good now I cannot wait next weekend actually like three days from now I'm taking this thing drifting so if you guys enjoyed this video you will definitely enjoy that video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching guys